this. Ah ah. I'm just trying to be strong for my girls. And Jenna, your mate. Hey ho me, welcome back to my channel. My name is Omi Odike Mwacheku and here I have sweet tea for you, man. Who is on the table today? Angel. Angel just came to come and show us that. See, uh, all I do is big chick moves. I do boss lady move. Don't try me. I say, okay, Angel, I have tea on what Angel did recently. I also have the updates on Kora OBD. Kora OBD's marital issues and squabble is one that I've literally been following. The way people are reacting to it is confusing me. So we have tea on Kara OBD. We also have tea on Ural and Pere. You know how they came to come and do cheer for me kissing online? Yeah, but I now have the real tea, the real, real kiss. And why they kiss you, girl? I'm saying, yeah, let's discuss that. Well, before I start, subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Do that for me, yeah? Now let's start this thing. I want to start with, who do I start with now? Oh, of course, Ural and Pere just now. I said this, that. That kiss that me, I saw, I better leave it, you. It was very planned. Yuri doesn't look to me like somebody who who cannot can lose guard. She looks to me like somebody who like overthinks her step. So if she puts a video of Pere giving her some kind of wet ass, you get me a chick kiss. You know, Peck is chick kisses. <laughs> chick is different here. Yeah. Anyways, of course it was a music video that they were filming. Jay Martin's video, yeah. And I think it was a very smart move that Jay Martin's made because it's been a while we've seen Jay Martin in the scene. A lot of youngies, a lot of Gen Z's might never even know him. So I love that he now came and brought two very notable people. Yurel left with Naja how many years ago, but Yurel has kept us. Like that girl understands how to stay relevant in this life. She has turned into a chef. She has, you know, she's doing like big moves, big ups, you will, you get me? So he picks her as a lady. Then he now comes to pick Perry because at this point in time, yeah, Perry feels like the perfect good, bad guy personality when it comes to guy, you get me? So I like, that was a very smart move, of course. People are going to watch the video. In fact, I want let, let's check how many views the video has right now. Hmm. The video has just 10k views. Guys, go and watch the video. What's up with you? Know, why, why are you guys telling? But anyways, it, that was why they did that whole thing. But see some clips of from the video. Look at all the kisses. Just, just. What is this? What is this? ah ah? Anyways, that was exactly what happened. Yeah. Let's move straight. But do you think it was a smart move for them to pick Perry and and and? You will in the same video tell me in the comment section, my darling. Next, G's Cora OBD. Cora OBD has finally come to address her fans. But the way people were reacting to this to this video, no. Let's you know what? Let's get into it. Let's watch um Cora OBD's video together and break it down together. Hi guys. Um I decided to come live today just to talk to you guys, my 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 anything family. doesn't matter um address some of the things that have been going on and some of the this is a tell-all um i really don't want to i'm not one to air my dirty linen in public because i know the internet never forgets i always try to first of all i want to apologize i want to apologize to everyone who saw the perfect depiction of family, perfect depiction of love, interracial love that I projected online and bought into it. And now they are very disappointed with what is going on. I am sorry that you had to see that and now you see everything crashing and everything going on. I just wanna say I'm sorry. I want to apologize to you, my loved fans, and I want to say that I'm sorry. Wait, before we even talk about, like, before we go further, do you think it's smart that she's apologizing? Let's think about it because her husband also apologized as well. But they're really living a lie. Because how I see on social media is that if people even come online to open up and say, I'm going through this, right? and they reconcile we will still judge them so i feel like some people will only put out their best unless you as a, as a receiver not even you everybody when people come and say this is what i'm going through you're not going to insult them and diss them and shame them you're going to understand that they're humans the same way you are human and you go through things except you or will 
pledge then people can start being as open as possible but people are going to dish you still so when i heard her apologize i see why she's apologizing maybe it was a lot of fights but the only time that they capture were the sweet times maybe but i just don't think it's necessary to apologize like what are you apologizing for your marriage is breaking that's it man why do you get me like you know you try to show the good part because maybe those were the things that you were holding on to and savoring do you get me that's what i think sharp but really what do you think i just want to know your opinion do you think it's my fault to apologize tell me what you think in the comment section but let's continue you might see me looking strong you might see me dancing you might see me trying to keep things together and when you see me doing that just know that i'm just trying to hold things together i'm just trying to be strong for my girls i'm just trying to keep things together that is how i cope i cope with dance and i cope with expressing through my craft. And it's a way of living. It's how I live my life. So I read and I can read all the comments and I can see everything that everyone is saying. And I just wanna say that I'm not gonna go here and say anything bad about my husband. I'm not gonna do that because i know that it's gonna be damaging to my family and i'm not gonna do that it takes two okay it, it does take two in every marriage it takes two everything is yeah. not one-sided it takes two um i'm sorry for you know all my queens who look up to my marriage and who say I want to have that someday um, shattering the the illusion the perfect illusion of a perfect marriage I am just a content creator and I can see everything I can read the comments I can read everything I can see how everyone is saying oh you know all of this stuff I'm just trying to keep myself together I am the only one I have June I have a toddler a two-year-old and I have a newborn a toddler and a newborn <laughs> a toddler has so much energy a newborn is very fragile so you can already think how I'm go I'm the only one in America from my like my family is not based here i'm alone you know i just want you to know exactly what i'm going through right now and to understand that anything i'm doing right now is just to cope it's just to cope to now Let's talk about people's reaction. People started to say she was crying crocodile tears. She should go out. She should just get out and go and solve her marital issues. People were saying, um, I beg that she that, that you know she's trying. I don't know. They, they were just they were blaming her. But I think that the first thing I'm going to address is her not even saying anything, which I understand. Very mature thing to do because years later her children might get to see it but now what we know is that her husband was the one that's come and giving us back to back to back to back the issue with he, like in the marriage you get me he told us that she she, she lacks accountability she's a narcissist she's you get me so all we know is the man's reasons as to why he left the marriage or why the marriage is broken she doesn't want to say anything so that way it is still a very imbalanced i'm saying this for anybody who's judging her because i don't understand it's still very imbalanced right and people saying she's crying crocodile tears i'm just looking at you like you have to be silly because how can you say she's crying crocodile tears if nothing if she's the most wicked person in this world if that she's bad she has two children her husband just walked out on her she's the only person in america that alone can make you cry who 
what do they want? She was she did not come and do a video. She was there doing her normal content content. They were still dragging her. Hey, hey, hey. go and face your marriage. Go and she has come to come and tell you now that if you see her doing that thing, she's trying to just make herself happy. She's the only person in, in America. Do you know how crazy that is? She doesn't even know what her left, she doesn't even know what next to do. And people still see the need to drag her. Like, what's your problem? As, as you know, you know, in life, understand that you have your own problems too. Is that how perfect you are? And I don't know all these apologies she's apologizing. All the queens who saw my marriage. Nothing is perfect in life. Nothing, but nothing in this whole world like this is perfect. Have you not, I, I, didn't you know? It's not perfect. I'm not going to say, oh, people should not share their marriage. They should share their good times in their marriages. So people that are single know that there are good times in marriage. But they should also come and tell you that nothing is perfect. Once in a while, husband and wife quarrel. It's, it's normal. You got to quarrel because people don't know each other. You are coming to live together in the same house. Of course, this is not how you get. There has to be some friction. But obviously, with wisdom and God, you will reconcile. But when I was just seeing the comment, I was just like, man, what's up with people? Like, do you want her to just shut up, shut her life, and just die? She doesn't know her next move. So she has two children with her. One little baby. One, you know, two-year-old. Let her breed, man. Let her breed, I beg. Is that how perfect your own life is? You have this, your, all your thing, everything is perfect. It's not. It's not, man. So if someone is, if someone come, and now she's, she's coming to come and tell you, the only thing is that I'm sure if she had come to come and say, 2017, he slapped me. In 2018, I jumped over the fence. He shouted at me. You, that's where you know, I'll be like, hey. but she doesn't want to tell us. Yeah, let her, let her heal, man. Let her heal anyhow she wants to heal. I'm going to stop here because this Cora, as in, I just, I don't know why she is the one to be blamed. Why are you blaming her? She's trying to just get by. She doesn't want to tell us the gist. Okay, it's okay. Leave it for her and her family members to know. Maybe it's later in life she will have the strength to come and tell us exactly what happened. And, and, and it's true. It takes two. Forget that the man I said, no matter what anybody says, Baba, it takes two to tango. In the Bible, God says, men, love your wife. Like Christ loved the church. Christ died. The church hated him. They are fighting him. But God, Jesus still loved the church. That's how you're supposed to love your wife. Women submit. We, they have their role. We have our role. If one person is lacking, one person is lacking. They, see, because even love, as, as the church was trying to stone Jesus, trying to pull him down, he was still there saying, no, I'm going to die for them. That's how that that's 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 the comparison between man's loving his wife. Do you get me? So if the wife is going crazy, you gotta still love her. But still, woman has their own role. Don't put it on the girl alone, man. What's what's that? But anyway, Sha, that's my own take on Cora of this recent, you know, development. What do you think? Please tell me in the comment section, my darling. Let's not end this song with Angel's Boss Move. You get what I'm saying? So her mother's birthday is coming very soon. And guess what, Angel? JB Smith goes to do listen. Angel actually goes to buy her mother an iPhone 12. Oh my gosh, man, her mother was just gushing. Oh, I love my baby. I need to read it for you guys. So Angel said, I got my mom an iPhone 12 for her birthday, and her excitement is so cute. L M L M F A O O O. But let's just say she's about to be terrorizing y'all on TikTok. Happy birthday in advance, mom. See the mother's video. Mama, you have to come home and come and teach your mommy how to do this too. Oh my god. I've not put I don't know where I will put the sim card though. Ew. And Angel and I your mates. And just mommy, you say just mommy your mates. iPhone. If you don't get iPhone, hide your face. Oh yeah. Excited, happy. Me, I like this move because like I dream I dream of a day where I can just spoil my mother. I'm trying my best now, but the, the, the like the, what I want to do in life is just to, ah God knows my plan. So when I see somebody taking care of their mother, I love it a lot. You get me pick ups Angel, pick ups her mother. It's good to just see that Angel on a, remembers to you know help her parents and put smiles on their faces and i think so far she's been doing just that that's a good move celebrate your mother appreciate your parents no matter how annoying you think they are no matter you get me be nice to them they did what they thought they could do it's what they knew that they gave you now you have grown up you, are, you have seen things you, are, you think that you are smarter eh, don't worry but for your parents oh, they pushed you to this point eh <laughs> be nice to them please you know when you have money send them small things even if you now have money send them 1k credits let them know that it came from their child 
you know for 1k you can move to 2k 5k 10k 50k 100k 1 million 2 million you get me yeah man you know so yeah smile like your parents but that's all for the g's for today i really want to know your opinion in the comment section my darling talk to me about everything about perry and yuri are thinking they could they could play with our head like oh you guys about cora obides you know marital issues and this video and people's opinion about like and about angel and her mother what do you have to say about all that g's talk to me in the comment section my darling i love you guys with all my heart you mean so much to me don't forget i have a vlog channel talk to your homie vlog i dropped a video there that i'm sure that you will love because i've upgraded guys your girl has upgraded i'm not a big chick see i don't do cheap things anymore i don't do cheap things anymore when you watch that video you will see you understand what i'm telling you about Omi Odiki does not do cheap things anymore, my darling. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So you can watch that video. I also dropped the hardest um, episode of Pennywise in my life. Because you know how I say, if you have been, if, if you're going through depression, come, let me help you out. Let me teach you. I realized that for me to be able to teach you how to get yourself out of depression, I need to share with you some of my own dirty past and secrets that have happened to me. That's i might not have told you so yeah i shared one that i'm just like oh my gosh oh me you just told the world yeah but i'm sure that you will learn a lot from that video i'll put a link to that video down below it's pennywise guys go there click it and watch it i love you with all my heart you already know that you mean so much to me have a nice time Bye bye